<clears throat> Bonjour. Hello. Today, I'm gonna build some more planes. This last plane was admittingly alright. But, I want to try something a little bit different. Oh, Twitch is notifying me that I'm streaming. Interesting. So, oh, what do I want to do here? Um, gonna try experimenting with the MK1. It's a relatively small cockpit, and I feel like I can I can make it go pretty fast. But in order to do that, we're gonna have to build a cool plane. Now, the problem I've had with a couple of my last planes has been. There's a lot of nose downing, and I would like to fix that. So, let's hop in with a tail connector, and it almost looks like it has whiskers. There we go. All right, and Oh. Yeah, I forgot about the engines. Uh, let's try with some propel. Prop prop let's try with some Gatorades on the wings and get that done. Delta wing? I really loved the Delta wing last time. That was... Uh, it just felt nice, you know? But how would I improve the Delta wing? Ooh, a divertless supersonic intake. Well, you'll learn a new part every day. Let's go with the big, big delta wing. And hop on some big elevons. And I'm uh, to put you back here. Come on. That tool is always just so awkward to use. Okay, so that's kind of what I want. But we'll put that on the outside. And get that there. Um, a lot of weight in the front. What if we added some of this. And how does that look? Bring that up. And it looks okay. I can make a like I want it to be very uh, maneuverable. That's that's kind of what I'm shooting for today. A very maneuverable plane. Okay, and that is, I don't like that tail connector. Does the parts kind of weird on the back there? Uh, standard canner. Right? Bring that back and go with an advanced one. Could do this if I did. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how maneuverable it would be, but I like the design. It just looks nice. And slap some of these onto wing here. Nope, nope, I don't want another one of those. Put that upside down. Come on, get in. Get in there. There we go. Yeah. Saying my lift is way back there, but I feel like this will, will help. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty big uh pretty big flaps. Pretty big flaps? 
Like it's flappy. It's like a bird. It's like a flappy. No, nah, no. Nah. Uh, landing gear. Gotta have some landing gear. I wish I could have a plane that kind of floated up. I suppose I could do today. It's, it's not that we need to. We really don't need to do that. That's maybe not the smartest idea. But yeah, before we get the before we get the landing gear, maybe an engine would be nice. Cause it is indubitably a plane. But can it plane? Probably not right now. Okay, back forward fuel. Ooh, nope. That's not very practical. Oh, tornado engine. Ooh, I like that. If I was using the cockpit, that would actually make a lot of sense. Um, Goliath? Really like this engine, but it is chunky. Also has a really long, um, I don't know if that's the right word, but like a spooling time. Like it's not really responsive to the throttle. Whiplash turbo engines, those are pretty good. Might have to might have to pick that today. Vortex engine. It was one that I could just throw on there, right? Did I dream that up? It's called the Predator. Weird. Uh I just don't feel like we should be calling any part we're gonna sell the Predator. Ooh. Um, hmm. Nope, not very practical. Come on, one of you has to have the mount built in, right? Someone? Was that all just a fever dream? Here it is. Okay. 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 We're, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere today. Um, looks like a safety hazard. Also, I don't know where to put these. Oh yeah, that looks, that looks really neat. Can I angle them out? That's kind of weird. I like it. And we'll do one up here. Snapped. This is probably going to be a dumpster fire, but propellers are cool. They are pretty cool. Pretty cool in my books. And I know you're not supposed to put the, the landing gear on the wings, but that's fine. Do you need to drag it? back it's pretty close to the center of gravity when you get it like too close up it can actually uh, like when you're when you're doing takeoffs uh, the plane can smash down into the into the runway which is not very productive all right so um we'll call this the kitty hawk 3000 that's pretty good. Pretty good name. Save and launch. I really don't know what that helicopter rotor is going to do up there. Oh, yep. See, this is what I meant by a uh, landing gear that was kind of too far back there. Is that, we just have like a lot of weight in the back, kind of acting as a lever. And if this doesn't fix it, I think we might be in trouble. Huh. Certainly not what I intended. Why are you guys going backwards? Whoa! Okay. Okay. You know, could use some improvements. But, uh, at least it landed? 
Jeb, what do you feel about this? He's, I don't think he's very amused. Okay, let's go back. Give this thing some proper engines. Because I feel like it's a really good airframe. Uh, I learned that that is pretty far back. And, you know, come to think of it, it wouldn't be the end of the world to just slap the, the landing gear right there. Oh, don't. Rotate. Turn the snap off. Yeah, there we go. I mean, I can take off. It's not going to be the funnest, but that makes a whole lot more sense than what I was doing. Okay. Woo! Wow, that's cool, but not what I want right now. Bud liquid fuel lunch. I've never built a plane with those. But they look cool. The engine's so small, you could probably put it just near anywhere you want to. Alright. So. That thing has a lot of thrust. I'd love to use, use that. I'll tell you what. Let's see if we can get it on there with a decoupler on the back. And where was it? It had, yeah, it had a um, thrust of 150 kilonewtons. A lot going on there. But it also just has a weird connection point. It's working towards. Okay, so if I put you there. Okay. It'll go on like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what if we got a structural fuselage? Get rid of that. Pull that. You get in there. And then it was called the turbo prop. 80, 150. Don't know what makes a turbo, but it is fast. All right, and then this is for the laws. Let's duplicate that reverse thrust on these. That reverse thrust. Okay, set normal thrust, set normal thrust. Okay, and then. There we go, we have the Kitty Hawk 3001. Let's check our weight balance. It's probably flipped around a bit. Um, this is the point where I'm like, does this make sense? Will this fly? It's really important to figure out that before you fly. So I've been told, I don't know. All right. Um, intake. Intakes are important. Okay. Just slap on an intake. Okay. You get out over there, you get out. Intake. The little supersonic. Use a pre cooler. Use a radial air intake. There's a lot of options. Let's just do that. <laughs> okay, I got that. Let's pull it up in the wing there. Reattach everything. And I think we'll be good to go. We'll do another one just to be sure. Uh, oh, those are those are big. Okay. I think we are good to go. Time to try out this again. I think I mentioned it earlier, but the uh, uh, sound really isn't working for these. Um, might have a strut issue. I'm realizing just how long this thing is. Actually, before okay, so before we get going, I want to shut these down. And can I get? forward thrust with these. We can! This is good, this is good, okay. 
So now I can turn these back on. Activate, activate. Now we should be getting up. Uh, we should be, we should, re we should really be taking off soon. Oh no, oh no, oh. We didn't see anything. Let's try it again. I know that they work, which is cool. By the way, really great plane for uh, reaction wheels like do not have today. Nope, oh, nope, oh, nope, oh, something broke off. Oh, just tail fin. Completely optional wings. Ooh. Yeah, there we go, there we go. I always tend to under underestimate yeah, underestimate how much like aerodynamic forces these tail fins give. They're always kind of a little awkward. But, uh, wow, look at that! It's not gonna break the speed of sound or anything, but it's pretty good. That would be so loud. Getting sandwiched in between these. That'd be a little uncomfy. Ooh, you can put oh, you can put fuel in there. We can make this very light. Oh, we can make it very light. Slap a jet engine on the back. Oh, yeah. I see some potential. I see some potential. Because currently, it's 30 tons. That's pretty heavy. Yeah, okay. I'm getting fuel from the from those. I'll bring that up. And you all can go. You are no longer needed. You will get replaced with... This guy, who is much lighter, gonna take out one of those. Feel like I could bring the uh, tail fin in a little bit. Okay, and how are we doing on the aerodynamics? I've seen a lot better. What if we get rid of that? Let's try some advanced canards back here, as I really don't think we'll need a whole lot. Yeah, that's fine. That is fine. Throw in a reaction wheel. And, whoop, nope, the cockpit has one. Yeah, okay. a little uh, I feel like we need to straighten that up a, a tidbit just a tidbit completely scientific measurement the tidbit gotta eyeball it are you straight um, what? getting close there we go close enough woohoo and we will can't really get reverse thrust. I'd love to get um, a reverse thrust jet engine in there, but uh, as far as I know, I don't really. I know the Goliath has a reverse thrust, but it's not really that good. Yeah, it's, just, it's not very. It's not that good. Um. Okay, can I drag you guys back? And then just to even out that weight a bit, gonna try to get the, the landing gear just bumped right on there. Okay, can you can you straighten up here? Can you? Can you are you? Nope, you are not behind it. It's not very kosher, but let's just put it right on the. Right on the engine. A um, couple of air brakes for, for show. Put them right in front of the intake. That's very scientific. 
I always like spreading them out because, like, I, you, I generally only use them for landing, so it doesn't make sense to, you know, really super think about it. We got our weird whiskers, huge elevons. Um. Jet engine on there. Jet engine's cool. Um, oh yeah, radiator. I want to do a bit of a speed test, though. I feel like just having these around will be nice. I'm gonna try to hide them in there. And you activated. Yep, that means let's activate you. Alrighty. Kitty Hawk 3002, ready to go. Time to zoom. Okay. The flash turbojet engines are also, for some reason, just. Okay, well, what is going on with the audio here today? Spacecraft. Do I need to, like, tweak you? Guess we're having this quiet aircraft today. Oh! 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 Ooh, okay! Not great. Not great. Uh, the wings flew off, which isn't very good. Our center of lift is in front of the... in front of that. Okay, so let's just... Gonna drag everything back. Doesn't super help. What if I I could drag the liquid fuel out of that? Take that off. Let's take some junk off the back. Ah, what is I'm trying to figure out how to I always forget how much these uh these turbojet engines weigh. They're, they weigh a lot. Hmm. All the engines are in there. Just drag those a little bit forward. A little bit out. There we go. A little bit up. Okay. I'm gonna get some struts on there, and I feel like this will fly a lot better. Did feel it did give me a bit of a wibbly wobbly feel. And I'll get them struts to the bottom. Um, just doing the the old double check. Feel like an extra canner there won't hurt. All right, let's see. We can get in the air. Just pretty, pretty good thing for an airplane. Okay. Okay, time to pull up. Whoa! Okay, just went full space shuttle status 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 on me. Nope, nope, not where we're wanting to go, buddy. Ooh, this is a bit of a weird plane. Oof. Uh, isn't super working here. Okay, what am I doing wrong? Let's just break it down to, uh, we'll try the engine in the back. Not, I'm not really feeling like I'm getting a whole lot out of these, uh, back wings. Okay, so there we go. Engine. 
get rid of that. We'll do an inline cockpit. Flip very in line there. And intake. This is a supersonic. Yes, okay. It is a supersonic intake. And oh, it's hard looking for the uh, <laughs> for the stock stock engines. Let's try out these. And get the. Close cycle air breathing. Yeah, we're gonna want air breathing. Hello. Okay. And from here, just slap on some big, big elevons. Elevon. Okay. So I think how I had it. Four was yeah there we go those line up <laughs> it's all about style right and this has just enough room for a reaction wheel do you have any gimbal yes you do okay you do keep keep on gimbling then and from here Clap on some canards for vertical stability. Yeah. And uh, can we get away with small landing gear? No. Just because we can doesn't mean we should. All right. So we got some medium and we'll put one up here and there we go this is me not try or trying not to overthink flying kitty chungus all right we have an engine we have an intake we have fuel we have controls how do we look on here i couldn't i couldn't think of a better solution all right Try this out. Oh, I love the pitch up. This is going to be a nice takeoff. Do we got any left, right? Yep, we do. Okay. And, uh, oh, I already feel it lifting off here. 80, 100. Yeah, I really should take off there. Okay. Wowee. Got a supersonic craft. Might as well do some speed test. Yes, I know this will probably break my craft. I didn't put any struts on it. Ooh! Okay. You know, we went pretty fast, but it's definitely missing some struts. I know auto strut is a thing, but... I I need a I need a good reminder of why I need auto strut. Um, this plane's actually going to be kind of nice because we're going to just tape everything to the big wings here. Oh yeah, that's nice. All right, we are all duct taped up now. I am curious. Yeah. Ooh, double the power. Don't mind if I do. Is this necessary? No, let's not do that right now. You know, I could do it with a bicycle. <laughs> I love this game. Coupler, bicoupler, 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 bicoupler. Where are you? We 
weird it didn't show up. Okay. Thing should be zooming. Um, one thing I wanted to do is kind of bring this up just a little bit. I felt like we were just kind of pushed up too much. Like this thing has a lot of thrust for its weight. Now it's gonna have double that. I don't. I don't want to. Really super aggressive takeoff here. Oh, what a beautiful sound. Whoop! Just took off. Didn't even have to cajole it there. Let's head on over to the island airfield. Wow, that is loud. I forgot how loud engines were. ton of drag from these wings, so really, really working it to punch through that. Turn off stats, and what's the, what's the view look like? Wow, that's spicy. A thousand meters per second. I would lose my curl. Zooming up, and it's flipped. Okay. Okay. Like we want to point prograde. I think it's prograde to get out, right? Is it retrograde. Ooh, yep, that's a terrifying sight. Okay, just gonna kill the engine for a while. Are we missing anything? Nope, we are not. Are we on the electricity? I don't have any. I don't have any electricity. Do these not produce electricity? Oh, they do not. Well. That's awkward. At this point, I'm just trying to burn off some fuel to not have a super violent landing. Yeah, I'm not getting the, uh, I'm not getting the, the stability I'm wanting. From the reaction wheels. Guys, chill out. Pull the brakes. Whoop! I just keep doing some clips. You're doing great. Oof. Yeah, just too much engine in the back. Should have picked a uh, electrical one because I love my reaction wheels a lot. Makes me want to kind of redo this whole section here. Service is no longer needed. And copy that. And yeah, now we're getting into ridiculous territory. Okay, and pull that off. And actually, you can stay on. How are we on the. Yeah, that's pretty good, actually. Okay. So. What we got as far as electricity goes? Thermal electric? Weird. Okay. So there's just any way I can. Just tuck this away in here.
Not where I'd put the nuclear generator, but it's where I put the nuclear generator. And uh, let's bum a battery in here. Because that would make a lot of reaction rails. How much do these make? How much do you make? Optimum time, shut down, max cooling, generator is always active, electric charge, not a lot. Uh, how much do you put out? Electric? Electric! Five a second. Um, hmm. Eight, 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 eight. None of these are really super strong. I'm a little leery about putting these on there. I feel like they're just gonna plop right off. Okay. We have this weird. Thing going on now. I don't. I don't know if that's. Can't really attach a strut to it. But I'll take it. And then intake. What do we got as far as intakes? Point one three point oh seven. Intake area point seven four. Yeah, I think I want that one. Okay. And uh, time to try it out again. This time with the reaction wheels. Um, I forgot to check the weight, but uh, I think it'll be okay. Some Elevon test and go. I don't know why you're so quiet. That's fine. Whoop! Whoa! Okay, it has a whole lot of thrust. Okay, I got takeoff speed at like 30 meters per second. Okay, let's hop over to the inland island island airfield. Ooh! Ooh, I am seeing some uh, a bit of cracking going on there. Okay, we're going to level it out and let it zoom for a bit. Nope. Oh! An incident. Uh, let's try that again. Let's try that one more time. Click and click out. Can you... Can you please be mirrored? Okay. Okay. We're gonna need to strut that to the body, strut that to the battery, strut that to the plane, do an under strut. Just kinda wanna do a series of struts. I mean when you go in hypersonic, you really just you gotta really trust that duct tape. All right, that's a lot better. By the way, it does feel super maneuverable. Kind of just everything I wanted in a plane today. I think I could get rid of that. But I'll pass. Um, let's do one of these. Yeah, it weighs a little bit more, but it looks cooler, and I think it's gonna just be a little bit better. All right, time to zoom. 
If there's definitely one of my game files that's broken, that should be making noise. Got a nice takeoff at about, uh, about 80, 80 meters per second. See how it, how it rolls? Get a lot of roll going on. It's very nice. It just feels like responsive, like very responsive. I was uh, flying some of the big planes earlier this week, and man, they just have no like. They don't react. Like you pull up and you're just like waiting and you're waiting and you're like, oh, please take off. There's only so much runway. Okay, how are things looking? Pretty darn good. I have no air brakes. So we probably want to throttle down right now. <laughs> See if we can, uh, yeah, there we go. Trying to get some, some turbulence going on. Flying upside down now. Or I guess some drag, like you wanting more, more drag. Keep the engine on. Yeah, I feel like some brakes could have gone a long way on this. I think it's too fast. If it wasn't for this like huge wing area, we would still be going really fast right now. But let's see if we can land it here at the island airfield. Oh, I still got tons of electric charge, we're fine. Wonder if they're are the reaction wheels on? Yeah, okay, they're working. They're doing their thing. I don't know how useful they are in the atmosphere, but nothing else. They're a good paperweight back there. Paper, uh, plane weight? Airplane thing? Okay. Name for landing. Okay. Oof. Okay. 80. 80 meters per second. And let's go down, pull up, pull up. Okay, 50, 60. Oh, I feel like I can do 60. It's not much to us. I'm gonna hit the brakes. Hit the brakes. Hit the brakes. Oh yeah. What a nice landing here at the island airfield. Oh, I love it. Thank you. Screenshots I need right now. Let's just hop back on over to the uh, KSP and see how we can uh, improve it. Probably doubling up some engines. I don't really know. I just love how, like that, you can't beat that. It just takes off. That's nice. Look at that. Oh, so much. Let's turn off stats. How much do you... Hmm. Yeah, let's turn stats back on. That was a bad idea. Okay, come on, come on. Can we go full space shuttle status? And the answer is sort of. We are slowing down, but it can nearly go vertical, which is very nice. Let's head up back on over to the inland airfield. Yeah, on land airfield, whatever we want to call it. So fast. I 
forget how much you can get out of a one of these single engines. High airfield, by airfield. You just get so much. Oh, you just get so much, so much out of them. Wow. Okay, so we should have we should have fallen apart. Went from like 600 meters per second to about a hundred. Uh, I'm sure Jeb's not complaining at this point. Turn on SAS. SAS can uh, get you in trouble. And you're going really fast. Yeah, it's stuff like this where I'm like, oh, I wish I had an air brake. I'm too impatient to to land. Well, it glides pretty well though. It glides really well. No throttle, just kind of falling right now. Okay. See if we can come in for a landing here. The fact that the uh, ocean is at the end of this strip always made me, made me a little nervous. Just a pequeño nervous. Coming in, coming in. I think the stall speed is like 50 meters per second or just, it's ridiculous. Like we could glide like this probably back to the air or the island, but we gotta put it, we gotta put the bird down though. Come on, straighten up, straighten up, and huzzah. 30, 25, 20. 15. All right. Take it back to administration. Show them the plane they bought. Look at that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So much lift. Woo! Ooh, almost lost it there. I'm trying to hit the brakes, but it's uh, not really wanting to agree with me. A lot of wing area. I like I like that this plane has a lot of wing area. Uh, <laughs> just oversized wings for this build. Probably get by with like a big S strike or something. And I like the almost equilateral triangle that's forming the landing gear here. Ah, well, it's been a good 9 minute 42 seconds flight. Jeb's probably rethinking the career. And uh, here we go. This is our plane. Oh, nope, nope, nope. I didn't know you could. Hmm. I feel like that shouldn't turn on underwater. Jeb's ready for the next assignment. Well, if you say so, Jeb. Jeb, you know what I want to build today? Know what I want to build. Yeah, Jeb, I know what we're going to build today. Just let me find it. Pocket 8 girder node. We're going to start with an I beam. And I promise I'm going somewhere with this. And then I'm going to find plane connector B. B? I think it's B. Yeah, plane connector B. That one. And then uh, I think we need C. Let's see on the other side. 
but you go. I'm gonna build a biplane. It's pretty easy. You just build two planes and connect them together real nice. Okay, that's good so far. And put the cockpit. Can I? Can I put it? Can I just? Can I put it? There? I guess not. Meet me in the middle. Can I put a reaction? Nope. Can I put a a, a this? I don't know what this is. I can do a hard time. Yeah, I'll try a hard point down there. Do the nose. I'll do the tail. Oh, this is fun. This is why I like this game. You are gonna have to get on there centered. Nope, nope, not quite centered. You know, no. Come on, just work with it. Nope, 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 nope. No. Come on. In there now? I think it's because you are crooked. Okay, so let's just try that again. I think that's a bigger hard point. Uh, structural pylon, is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. That is a tolerance of 70 meters per second. Wow. Okay. I want to get this. Centered. Or centered, I guess. Okay, and Ooh, I like that. Doesn't really blend well, but I like it. Feel like it would give it a pretty nice vibe down there. Kind of looking at it, is it straight? Yes, it is. Okay, now I want to build uh, the cockpit. Yeah, I was like, oh, we should, we should have a pilot. All right, I love what's going on there. If you don't start it right, the uh, you, you will be fighting the mirror mode. For most of this build. Like I really want to copy this I-beam and everything connected to it. But I cannot. So I will try to put one down here. We'll have to work that in there. Actually, I wonder if I can rotate this around. Oop, nope, get on there. I feel like this has some potential for some coolness going on. Yeah, I like that. I like what's going on here. Okay, and then we'll bring you to the front. Oh yeah. This is engineering happening. I think. We'll drag you up to about there, yeah, and uh, get it lined up. Come on, come on, come on. Hmm. 
No. Oh, I see the problem. It's really wanting to latch onto that uh, that pylon there. I'll just do that. We'll get you in there. There we go. Hmm. Okay. What is happening? Um, what if we... Nah, maybe a delta wing? Nah, too big. Um, maybe a delta wing in here. Okay, I like that. Little wing type P. Oh. Yeah, I like that. Alrighty. Oh, we're looking on aerodynamics. Looks kind of weird. I'm going to figure out how I want to do the fuel on this. Could have slapped it in the Delta Wings. I think that's what they uh, they did on a lot of World War II planes. Um, you'd find some of the fuel just kind of tucked in the wings. Nowadays, they... Uh, I have like special drop tanks for it. Okay, so that's something. I feel like I need a reference here. Yeah, we need a reference. Okay. Biplane. Let's look up some biplanes. All right, so the, the power source is at the front. Has a long tail, and the cockpit's like right in the middle of that air force thing. Okay. Um, biplane jet engine? I don't think that's a thing. Biplane with jet engine? That's like a cheeky add on there. Well, you know, you, you do you. Uh, not what I want to do today. But I think I have committed with this cockpit. Well, no, you know, I don't need it. I don't need it. We can slap a turboprop engine in the front. If I ever find it again. Oh, there it is. Okay. So we got that. And uh, let's get you. Let's get you bummed back here. That's there. We go. I don't. I don't know what the creator was trying to go for here. Like an exhaust or something. But it's it's really hard to work with. Okay, so let's get you in there. I wonder if I could do an MK2 coupler. Don't need the oxidizer. Yeah, there we go. So that has some kind of sense of being able to see behind it. And can I put, can I put some dumb engines on the back? Just <laughs> uh, I don't think that makes a whole lot of sense. Uh, maybe it needs a MK2 adapter long. And then from here, we can put a, put a fan engine. I'm actually trying to make this a little bit longer here. Get you there, get you there. 
Maybe an intake somewhere. You know, I could put them at the end of the wings, and it would look cool, but I would, I would never do that. That would just be cruel and weird. Yeah. We're doing this. Actually, no, we'll come back to that. This is a cool idea, though. Oh. Slap on the stupid big elevons again. I'm starting to like these things. Like more than I should. Big S, right? No, big S too, okay. Yeah, that's what I want. Okay, now just like a real biplane, we're gonna put on an unsafe amount of struts. Does this thing have any edge? Uh, yeah, okay, cool. For some reason I'm getting like a pod racer vibes from it. But, uh, okay, so landing gear, landing gear would be nice. Medium landing gear. Uh, it's got a really weird tail. If I had to rework anything, it's gonna be that that tail. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Come on, I'm trying to try to work something here. Okay, so. You could first be mirrored. Okay. Make around a bunch of struts here. Struts on the landing gear. I always love putting struts on the landing gear. It just it brings me so much satisfaction. Cross those. He's attached. Oh yeah, let's get that attached to the Mark II cockpit there. <laughs> like you need some struts, buddy. Um, I want to try to sneak some in here to get this metal bar attached. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to look good. I'm trying to get it to look good, but it's, it's a point. Looking a little rough there, but I think it's okay. Got enough intakes. I can get away with a lot of. A lot in the back here. I know it's not very kosher of biplanery, but a reaction wheel is going to have to do there. And all right, time to try it out. A biplane. Nope. Nope. No. 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 Get back in there. Get back in this place, plane hanger. All right, time to fly this. Just doing, uh, oh, glad I checked that. We do not need any oxidizer today. Look at that. That's like three tons I didn't even need to bring with me. I wish I could shut fuel in that. And this is just a, okay, what's there? Engine up front there. Small reaction wheel back here. Oh, no pilots. 
Jeb, get in there. Go, go to work, buddy. You forget you had work today? Go to work. We made you this nice, beautiful, probably safe plane. The least you could do is get in. Okay, a plane that is also silent again today because I don't know why those aren't working. Flame out. Uh, I think it's because we don't have a, a, a cross feed over this. So all I'm, all I'm getting in is that in the back. Okay. Well, not what I thought I would have to fix. We can take. Actually, am I am I right about that? Not. Hmm. Guess it's just having a moment today. Oh, uh, I'd love to just replace it, but I'm not going to at this point. Okay, how to make this not look gross? I'm gonna use that, but I think the problem is you need to come out. And now I got like off center here. Okay, so I have that. <laughs> we need to put an intake on it. There we go. Now we can shove it back into the airframe. Oh, come on, dude. Do I have that attached right? I don't know if I do. Okay, I do. Okay, we'll bring that here. No, I'm, I'm sorry, but you guys were never in, in the original design. Get in there. So now I should have an intake on the front and the back. I don't know why they're not sharing, but I'll deal with it. Do some rudder test. Pretty good. Alrighty. See this thing take off. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, work that. Oh, you love it. You lo you don't love it. Oh no. Oh no. I don't know what happened there. I feel like it really shouldn't do that. It might be Seth just having a rough time with it. Ooh. Look at that though. It's pretty sturdy. It is very sturdy. That thing is uh, protected in there. I'm gonna try it without any kind of stabilization because I think it might be what we're having happen. Dude, do you have a flame out? Like, what? Yeah, intakes up there, right? Weird. Okay, so all my thrust is in the back. That's I like that's what's going on there. Oh, there we go. We got some in the front. Uh, I'll turn on stability here. Can we do a do a spin? Okay, let me do the cannot go space shuttle. Oh, I am, I am spoiled with all the jet engines I've been flying. This is what happens 
when you try to go space shuttle in a literally not a space shuttle. It's not good. It's not good. Hmm. Welp. Welp. Okay. So I want to try to redo the, the cockpit here. I, it's a whole lot of weight going on back here. And I'd like to fix it. Uh, I don't know how though. Okay. So let's just start with the MK1 in line. There we go. The exhaust going right into the cabin. Very Kerbal esque. And. Yeah. You know, I could do this. If I can figure out where to put the landing gear, I feel like this is going to really work. So that landing gear is pretty much right on the center of gravity there. Let's double it up for good measure. I could do a front there, and then we could do another in the back. It's a little top heavy, but this might work. Get you guys straightened up. Straighten up. Okay. No, I just grabbed that. Okay. <laughs> you guys go back a bit. All right. Oh, it's cheeky, but it's gonna work. Strut them together. Hopefully. Oh, come on, get on. Start to the engine. Cross the propellers. This is getting more and more not believable as we go. <laughs> We're gonna stuff Jeb in it. And uh, did we pack fuel? No, we did not pack fuel. Fuel. Fuel is important. Fuel decouplers. Actually, I don't even need a decoupler right here. Uh, what about the MKO? Yeah, it's got 50 fuel. And then I could use this to drag the weight kind of back here. 8,600 meters per second. Wow. Incredible. And then we'll give, we'll give them all cute little intakes. Make it look like we know what we're doing here at the Kerbal Space Program. You know what? Intakes in the back. Intakes. You get an intake. You get an intake. Everyone gets an intake. Okay. And uh, there we go. Okay. So now we got... A plane. That's us. That's all I know that we have right now. We have a plane. Will it fly? I don't know. I don't know. It's of course, very quiet because the mod is, as far as I know, broke or just not installed correctly. They always put in the like, oh, read me, read me before playing. But I don't know how to read. So it's hard. Okay. Time to pull, pull up. Time to, time to pull up. We're going 100 meters per second. Oh, oh, nope, don't. Don't pull that way. Oh, goodbye, Elevon. Okay, revert to launch. That was weird. 
not getting why we're not pulling up. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I never deactivated the, uh, <laughs> this should be interesting. So in theory, I could. <laughs> awesome. Not very practical, but pretty awesome. Too far back to rotate. I think you are right, yeah. That is a great observation, Silver Maple. Silver Maple? Maple. Yeah. Love the Kerbal community. Very helpful. Okay. Practically a 16 wheeler right now. But I love it. Deleted something. Let's not delete stuff. Oh, maple like the tree. Like the name. All right. And uh, at this point, I'm very nervous. Let's bring you guys forward and get this thing going. At this point, I really just want a working plane. I did set this on the reverse thrust. Yes, okay. I do like the pull of partiness that I can execute. Doesn't mean I should execute it. Okay. Um, 100 meters per second. Oh, come on, I know we got more lift than this. It's a hope and pray off the runway. Oh, nope. Yep. Fast, you're not helping. Well, oh, boy howdy, what a plane. What a plane. Where it was flying better before. <laughs> Oh, this is fun. I love this game. Just giving it a basic tail now. Little dual engine thing is cool, but it's not super working out. Okay. And we should weigh a lot less. Yep. This thing is 14 tons. About the weight of, uh, I believe, seven cars. Something's missing. Ah, fuel. Fuel, fuel is important. Cockpits are just, they're not really in style anymore. We can, we can just slap on a remote control module, we'll be fine. It's probably covered in the warranty. Don't know if you're connected, but we'll make sure you are. Okay, now we just got to reduce some of the wibble. I know auto struts a thing, but I forgot to turn it on today. And I chose Kerbalness. All right. Ooh, what a sight. Okay, I got my glorified RC plane. One prop. Lots of wing area. And uh, a lot of wheels. Oh, we're we are uh, twelve plus four. We are a sixteen wheeler, for real.
That's an Elevon test. Wow, those those produce a lot of drag. This is gonna be a runway and parade kinda. Woohoo! Had a time warp incident. Guess I'll just take my time. <laughs> uh. Oh, you want some left? I found some left. I don't think we're actually getting any left. It's not crashing. Come on. Come on. Really gonna have to fix the sounds. This is, uh, this is just weirdly suspenseful. I don't know. Come on, come on, pull up. Just kind of having to feather it up. Oh, we're not crashing. We're not flying very well. Okay, you know, this has been a great flight. Oh, it would help to throttle up. Well, well. Slap my sign. Start flying this thing for real. This has been a cool biplane. I'm gonna try to take it for a land and then decouple this uh, this bottom bottom pylon here because I feel like that'll help. But uh, yep, yeah, it's airborne. This is nice. Let's take it. Can we do a bit of a... Nope, not going to do any rolls today. It's, uh... It's got the wobbles. Even after all them struts. I think... Did we pack any reaction wheels in this thing? Yes, we did. Just one. Oh, yeah, that's... That's a heck of a lot of wobble up there. Okay, let's head up back home for a landing. I love this! This is nice! Very responsive. I mean, I guess slapping on the, the huge elevons like that's gonna, gonna make it do that, but this is one of the best biplanes I have ever made. Took a lot of trial and error, and probably could do with a little bit less wheels, but this is nice. Yeah. We're gonna slow down. We're not gonna land at 160 meters per second. That's very rude. Oh, I'd like to thank you for the follow. Nice. Appreciate that. Okay. 60. Not. I really want to get below 60 for this landing. Woo. You know, 30 would be nice. Oop, okay, I guess we're landed. Oh, Lord help us, we're not putting on the brakes. Kind of tap them down. This thing really wants to just nose plant. I feel like setting a reverse thrust could help. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is nice. That is smooth deceleration right there. Oh yeah. Very nice. Okay, you can you can stop doing that now, sir. Funny how it changes the thrust without ever changing, you know, slowing down. Maybe that's how our high planes work. I like it. I probably could throw a cockpit in there. It wouldn't be the worst. Definitely a strap from here to there. But let's try it in its uh, <clears throat> separate mode. I, I, I hesitate to call it a mode because 
it will probably be just a self-destruct button, but we'll find out. Okay, we're throttled up. Can we please take off, sir? Just hit a... Yep. It's just what I did. Just what I wanted it to. It hit like a little bump and poof. All right, before we actually, I'm gonna try to drop it down to maybe about a hundred. And then, so this first stage is gonna drop this whole bottom part. And we're gonna have a whole lot of lift up here. So in order to try to minimize uh, what I'll call violence, I want to try to, yeah, let's do that now. Oh, is it working? Well, the other piece just glide, just had a nice glide down. Oh, yeah. This is working. I have no landing gear now, so <laughs> this is an ill-fated flight at this point. This is happening. And we do have another, technically another stage here. I wonder if we could do a... I don't know how that'll work with the intakes, but I'm going to try to land it like a rover. Oh yeah, this is nice. We're pulling like 5 Gs, not falling apart. A little rough in the barrel roll department, but oh, I guess I've had worse. Oh yeah, this is the part where I'm like, oh, it needs a longer tail. But, oh, this is so nice. We'll have to try to use them as landing legs. I saw that they had a like an, a crazy high impact resistance, especially the larger version here. All right, so this is pretty nice. Doesn't fall apart. Can it go space shuttle? What? No way. Wow. It really shut up. It really shed a lot of weight there. That's this is awesome! Full vertical! Oh yeah! I fly upside down. Not a problem. Okay, so from here, drop the quick save and I think I want to Drop it like this, and drop it like it is hot. Whoop! Yay! There we go. Nice. Whatever. Okay. Can we point prograde? Retrograde. The retrograde. Okay, so I can't quite land it like a. Uh, like a probe, like I wanted to. But it's just, I don't have a lot of authority on it. I think a reaction wheel could help. But... Makes one fine missile at this point. <laughs> Bam! Oh, yeah. Satisfying. A little bit bigger. There we go. Now it's uh, nope, too big. Okay. Um, and then oh, there was the strut struts to here to. Yes. 
here to here. Well, it's geared up, geared up. No, get back on there. Yeah, I was really trying to avoid doing this because, I don't know, I was, thought they were kind of dorky having them at the end. Although, to be honest, it's kind of more historically accurate. They, they did connect them like that, sort of. I mean, you look at old planes are crazy. They got, like, wires going all the way to the back like that. Huge tail fins. All sorts of stuff going on. Ooh, that's weird. I actually want to get rid of you. Few of these on there. There's only one tail, please. And oh yeah, you can go. You can go. You're you're not needed. Actually, you can go too. I'm done being overly nervous about the landing. I'll put on some elevons to fill out the uh, the wing profile here. Go. Can I fill this gap without it being dorky? The answer is no, but I can fill that gap. I think I need L on four. Yeah, that's good enough. I don't know how super effective they are in there, but fine. Liking the engine. Very impressed with the engine. Um, Alright, what is our weight? 15 tons. How would I lighten this if I could? I wonder how much a big S. Wow, I probably have a ton just in Elevons. I'm okay with. Is there a different turbo prop? Yeah, I think with the parts that I got, this one called the Bear is really going to give the most. We could do some rear pushing whatevers. Um, but no, I think that's about it. 170? Oh, okay, okay, so that's 150. Okay, so this has a little bit more. Okay, get that out of there. All right, I'm gonna try this out. And it has its own intake, so I feel more confident that that's not gonna fly off. Still no noise because I don't know how to do mods the best. I just really wanted a propeller. Like, I feel like the jet engines are just... Yeah, I get it, you're throwing stuff in that space, but I just love the airplane aspects of this game. Gonna check in. Applying generous amounts of airplane duct tape. Okay, so how does that affect? Alright, I should still be able to take off. Let's call this biplane too, because it's certainly an improvement. Alright. <laughs> it's just comically quiet. I love it. Like we're building some kind of drone aircraft. Except drones are really loud. Okay, so... Oh, I'm definitely feeling it. I'm feeling the lift. It's really good. I am feeling the lift. 
Come on. Come on. I I think it is the like pitch of this front landing gear. I think it's like higher than the back, causing the thing to like act as a giant spoiler. So I might revisit that. Got a nice clip of a uh, 170 meters per second. Oh, we do have a lot of wobble on that. Oh, that's a lot of wobble. That's where all my energy is going. Like, why isn't this thing moving fast? And I think we're going to hit a top speed of about 170. And that's fine. Let's bring, bring it down a bit. Let's see if I can get down to 100 and drop this bottom stage. Stage. <laughs> Stage in quotes. Definitely want to wait till 100 because I think if I dropped it right now, it would smash right into this this back thing there. Alrighty. Oh, well, that's a smooth separation. Bye. Bye. Have a have a good swim. Have a good have a good wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why am I not controlling the airplane? Not enough electrical charge? <laughs> Welp. Welp. Okay, so there might have been something overlooked about this plane. You output one. This outputs one. Okay, so I just have like way too much reaction wheels going on and I lost power. That's embarrassing. Like most people, we're going to overcompensate when we fail at something and just add some power stuff. It's not super overcompensating at all. Let's get that. Let's get an inline battery. Nope. An inline battery. There we go. Come on. There we go. Um. Still want one reaction wheel. How much electricity is this? 0.5? Yeah, we were just, just over enough. I probably can get away with some solar... Oh, no, please don't copy the whole plane. Some solar panels here, because... Like, we're going supersonic. Going for just a nice, comfy ride. Get in there. Really should have made this the fuel tank. Think. Probably would have been the better idea. But this is fine. This is fine too. Alright, time to fly it again. Landing. Ah, yep. Should have adjusted the uh, front landing gear because I'm pretty sure it's slanted down, tilted downwards. Okay. So many elephants. This thing has two, t two or three tons of just elephants. I love it. I'm not even mad. Okay, we're we gonna we're we gonna go up. You don't feel like it? Not today? Come on, just just take off. That's all you gotta... Whatever. I'm gonna try landing at the island airfield here. I want to give this thing the... Uh, it's definitely a plain seal of approval. 
You gotta land it to get one of those. How are we doing on the spin? Oh, it's really good with the spins now. So smooth. Oh, yeah. Wait, we still got electricity? Yeah, it's fine. Overall, pretty good. Um, I think if I really wanted to make it a pull apart missile, I could take off, or I could take. How would I do that? Maybe add some advanced canards up here? That'd probably be the quickest, dirtiest way to do it. But uh, I like how if, when all this comes apart, you basically have a missile with aggressive helicopter blades up front, propeller blades. Okay, it definitely has a top speed, that's for sure. Um, not quite the sturdiest. That look, it looks like I have struts going through there, but I don't. They need to be going through there. There's a lot of wiggle on the back. You can see it when you look at the... Yeah, yeah there's some wiggle. That's okay, though. Planes wiggle. I went to fly with Delta a while ago, and their planes wiggle. Because every planes wiggle. It's wiggly planes. Okay. Because we didn't super take off, I'm not sure of the stall speed. But, uh, keep it under 100, I think I'll be okay. Get over to the airfield. Oh. Oh, yeah, it really wants to. It really wants to go down. Let's get let's get an extra little push to to the airfield. Okay, it's a hundred. Let's get this bird down. I'd say with no casualties, but we don't have any. Oh, oh, okay. So I, uh, oh, I definitely lost track of the speed there. Oof. Camera, no, you can go back to duh, not giving me a seizure. Oof. Um, that was rough. I want to try that again. I was like, ah, oh, yes, just gotta point it at the airfield. I forgot that I probably shouldn't fall into the ocean before then. Oh, well, I lost the, I only lost one wing. I'm okay with this. Oh, can we? Oop. That was aggressive. Okay. Not quite a landing, but I'll take it. And I'm gonna take off again, hopefully. Let's see how necessary the uh, tail bit really was. My max speed still 170. Pretty much. Drop the other wing. Drop the top wing. And how are we flying? We're flying really good, actually. <laughs> oh, no, no, the SAS, please. SAS, please! Yeah, it just doesn't have the, the pull to pull itself up. Hmm. Well. It's undeniably a biplane. It separates into a missile. And uh, the tail is sort of optional, but 
definitely preferred. Well, I'm going to go take a two-minute break here, and I will be back. You guys enjoy the kerbals and the weird plane we have built. And I will see you guys in a minute. An airplane. Something I'm a little curious on is why did this have a max thrust at Mach point three? And this had a max thrust of at Mach point five. Interesting. Kind of says the Max speed of them, like that. I'm trying to come up with a design here. Is this a small engine? No. It's a V12 engine with a big fan on it. A lot of these are uh, limited to Mach 0.1. Some of them at point, point 0.5, but yeah, like at Mach 0, like Mach 0. Come on, I want a fast plane. Well, I really liked that plane. Let's say that was a fun plane. Hmm. I have an idea. Okay. A steel beam. I swear I'm not building another biplane. Although I might be technically. I don't, I'm not really sure. <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay. Wing connector B, no, A. Okay, and then can I fit a Elevon back here? Yes, I can. Cool. Now I want... What do I want now? Oh, that's an inline part. Gross. You an inline part? Yes, everything's an inline part. Back to Kerbal Space Program. Okay. 
Okay. Now I need an engine. And then I need a cockpit. Okay, can I put... Can I put this right here. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, we're gonna thrust way in the back there. With the Mark II cockpit. And I really want an engine that just makes noise, so put on some of those. Okay, so I gave it the yes, I did. Alright, no oxidizer, please. Put you off to the side there. Alright. We'll put this guy back. Give it an intake. You find somewhere where it looks cool. This is the number one rule of airplane making. Make it look cool. Don't take yourself too seriously. Make it look cool. Now it needs wheels. Okay, has wheels, has engines, has an intake. And now it needs MK zero fuselage right there. Just have some clippy wings in there. Okay, so now I can double it up and do it again. Um, no, we're not going to need a strut. We're going to need a Intake. Okay. Mm. It's gonna look dumb, but let's just put another intake. Make it look like it belongs there. Drop, please. And my goal is just to kind of fly it like this and see what we need to improve. I know I need some struts. I really don't want the wobbles on this thing. I wish there was some way to make it like auto cool strut. I know there's auto strut, which is invisible strut, but like, like I, I'm, I'm basically asking the computer to weave a spider web for me. I don't see that working out super well, but uh, huzzah! Airplane! Kind of. And, um, <laughs> I've been looking for an excuse to use these. Okay. I'm gonna name this Wide Chungus. 101 parts of awesomeness. Oh, no crew? Get in there. Bill, Bob, Valentina, Jebediah, come on. You can help me fly this. I'd rather you guys figure it out than me have to get it. Oh yeah, that's actually a lot of a lot of thrust right off the bat there. Talk to these. Yeah, I definitely have some kind of conflicting mod or something. It's no audio. 
I know these engines make noise. Huzzah, we've basically made a floating bridge. Oh, oh, he really wants to fly apart. Uh, what I was wanting to test with this is actually the... Uh... Oh, it doesn't want to... Doesn't want to turn. It'll do that, though. Whew. See how he's wanting to practice with some wide planes? And I feel like with that amount of elevons going on, like, gonna have a lot of control. I don't know. Just a nice, simple little experiment. I'm glad this didn't drag on for an hour, like the biplane. Biplane was fun, don't get me wrong, but that was mentally nerve wracking. Okay, so. For as wide as these wings are, I think they're just too off centered or something. Nope, nope, don't flip, don't flip, don't do that. You weren't supposed to do that. Okay, can we pull up? This isn't even time accelerated, it's just like really jumpy. Oh, I wish these, uh, I wish these had a boop. That is a landing. That happened. <laughs> uh, what I was wanting to say is, um, uh, on the actual space station, these had like an air brake or a space shuttle. These had an air brake built into them. But uh, yep, that was my weird short little experiment. It's not a pretty plane, and I really don't see a whole lot of potential with it. Unless I wanted to get really freaky with the back wings. Um, like, it takes off really easy. Like, we're going about... Let, let's see what the takeoff speed here is. I'm betting 35. I'm going to bump it up. Bump it up and... Uh, that's 30, 34, 36. You can see, oh, there it is. There it is. It takes off at about 40 meters per second. And I bet I could get that even lower with the, uh, the Mark, Mark 1 cockpit. But, uh, yep. It's been about two hours. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I really appreciate the um, suggestions. Silver Maple. I probably never would have got it to take off and would have done a crazy redesign that was really not needed. And I uh, hope you guys liked this last plane that apparently is built like a brick. Wow. Incredible. This is like a lot of wings. And yeah, we could probably cut off that, make a largest delta wing. I like the, I like the I like building something cool. I did build something cool today with the, the biplane too. So anyways, thank you all for joining me. I'm the Mr. Mono. Please like, subscribe, follow, do the things that people do on Twitch. Uh, I'm used to the YouTube grind, so it's a little different here, but it's a lot of fun. Peace.